Hello everyone and welcome to our exciting series of XLOOKUP. In my previous video, I've told you that if you, if you don't have an Office uh, 365 and you are using from 2013 to 2016 or 19, how you can use XLOOKUP into your previous version. So if you want to get an access to, uh, to HLOOKUP, then I will prefer you to go to my first recording first so that you can uh, get all that technical support and once you upgrade your um, your um, uh, your Excel then you can use that H lookup uh, we X lookup sorry so in the second uh, series of video I will show you some introduction about uh, the super function X lookup if you're looking for something to put into your resume which can increase the weightage of your resume for the employers or if you're already working in a company and you want to have an edge over your peers in terms of your excel skills so you are at a very right place so please give me thumbs up before we go for a video so let's see what are the functions we can do through the help of an xlookup First thing which I want to uh, uh, tell you about XLOOKUP, that XLOOKUP will replace VLOOKUP, will will replace MATCH and INDEX, okay, and we'll see. And uh, the benefit of using an XLOOKUP is that we can search the data both on the left hand side of the common uh, field and on the right hand side of the common field, okay. So let's say, first pick, uh, this thing which says let's pick the column from the right hand side so over here let me explain you that um, um, I'm supplying to some of my customers uh, these are my products and these are the provinces where I have to supply so my customers are over here we have used uh, we have used uh, uh, a function over here which is um, uh, data validation over here we have used the data validation and in the province uh, Again, you, it is you, uh, you, you can uh, use or you can select the different provinces over here, products and the customers here. So let's talk about the text first. So where is the text? Text is on the left hand side of the province. So I have the province and I want to bring the text over here. But the problem is the text is on the left hand side of my province. So yes, uh, X lookup will solve this problem. So let's start with this is equals to X lookup bracket start lookup value what is my book lookup value so my lookup value is this okay and where i have to find it so now this is a lookup array so my lookup array is this okay and because i want to copy a formula vertically so i will prefer to put my dollar sign and if then the second if i put a comma then return if that is something found what is the return array so my return array is over here where the percentage of the taxes are here and because again i want to copy a formula vertically so i will be using a dollar sign and i don't need to put zero for exact match in it because it is by default zero is there you don't have to put a zero simply what i will do i will simply put a bracket and say enter and here you can see that system has picked pick 5% for Alberta, which is over here. And now I can simply copy my cell till the bottom and I can check that uh, uh, NS means 15%, yes. Uh, Saskatchewan means 11%, yes, it's over here. And Quebec means 14.98, uh, which is uh, which is over here. And Ontario has 30, so it's, it's all done. Now, I, so that means now my X lookup function is working onto the left hand side of the data also. So now, can it work also on the right hand side? Yes, it will do. So what I'll do, I will bring the rates from here. Okay. So again, I will do a simple thing is equals to X lookup bracket start. Look up this product where, what is the lookup array? over here okay I don't have to select the whole things so only the lookup array and because I want to copy a formula vertically so I won't prefer to put a dollar sign and if it is found what is a lookup array lookup array is this for me and dollar sign and because zero is uh, by default it is always zero 
I don't have to put zero here. So simply enter. And as you can see that for the milk, the, uh, the rate is 100.99. Uh, and now I will simply copy the formula. And over here, it means I've already put the fa functions, but you can put the values yourself. Okay. And whatever the amount, this is a simple uh, mathematical calculation, which is text is getting multiplied by uh, by the by the rate and calculating a text and over here there is a text plus the calculation of um, of our rate into quantity so how this is how we have done this so so now what we have learned these two things we have seen that our x lookup which is a super function formula uh, has replaced v lookup and uh, now we can see on to the left hand side and the and the right hand side okay so let's see the match and index first okay and i will make it zero here so what i want to know that i've already put some data validations over here so my i can pick any of the of my customer let's say metro and for metro my boss wants that if he want he want to see the total sales so again from rate to amount we have done a data validation over here and uh, you, you all know because we have covered this thing in detail into our previous recording so let's start our x lookup now we are replacing match and index is equals to x lookup bracket start look up this thing which is a name of a customer where over here into this array and because I'm not copying it anywhere so I don't care about my dollar sign to make it lock and then comma now I want to see the uh, headings from the from the total so I will put another X lookup bracket start lookup invoice amount the title which it says invoice amount where over here from rate to amount okay and if it is found then pick what pick the data from this range and I have to do nothing and say this thing and this thing enter okay so now you can see that Metro sales is 947 Metro sales is this now I want to see uh, let's say I want to say Costco and I will say Costco but I don't want this I want uh, a quantity here so now four why because we see the quantity in Costco is four uh, let's change it to another which says um, longus and I want to see uh, invoice amount over here and it's sorry invoice amount and it says 2410 so long rows is over here and the invoice amount is 2410 so this is how we have do done two things here we have picked uh, we have replaced v lookup by h lookup with an added advantage of looking onto both onto the left hand side of the data uh, by se selecting the text percentage and also onto the right side of the data as usual in in uh, v lookup and plus we have replaced this thing with our H lookup. So now let's take an other example. So first of all, um, I have three tables here. One here where I will use it to form our formulas. This is one table and this is another table. So now I have two different tables available here. My boss gave me that there's an employee numbers, employee names, bring in the department okay so now as you can see the employee names are here and the departments are over here okay so what i will do i will go here and say is equals to x look up what thing this name where into this range and because i want to copy the formula down so i will do this and if it is found then pick the departments okay and again dollar sign and because zero 
which is exec match is by default so the names versus name is exact match so i don't want to put a zero and i will simply put bracket close and enter okay and simply copy this sorry i will copy this till here okay and now let's do some random things here so jane richard is in marketing and over here if i'll say jane richard she's in marketing and let's say uh, uh, let's say bell grisha she works for supply and over here she works for supply so it is perfectly clear right now by default what i've done is that i put uh, Ray, uh, ryan charles two places one here and one here because uh, ryan has joined us in 2013 12 at that time he was working in finance but in 2019 he went into the supply and when i look over here i found that the finance is coming so that means that my search is doing from top to bottom which is our which by default uh, we look up to but in that case i don't want that thing because there are some type of data there are some old entries and there are some latest entries at the bottom so now i want to pick this data from the bottom so if i want to pick the data from the bottom what i have to do is i will activate my uh, formula here and i say comma and it says match the model right now i'm not interested in this and i will say one more time i will press this thing and now it says search mode this comes the search mode and there is this by default it says uh, uh, to search mode to use optional is one you can use uh, uh, default is zero one uh, and this is again uh, minus one if you want to search first to last okay and search last to up is two and then this is ascending and this descending orders here so technically what i'm doing is on to search from last to last to first so what i will do is i will use it over here minus one and say enter and i will copy this thing over here and now i can see that this has been replaced by the supply so now what we have done this that through the x lookup we can do a search from from bottom to top also and from top to bottom top to bottom is always default but if i want to change it from bottom to top then i can change it by using minus one okay now let's do another thing okay uh, and that is that i want to calculate the bonus is over here okay so where is my bonus my bonuses are over here this is anybody uh, maximum till 2000 will get six percent at three will get five percent and four and above four will get a four percent here so what i will do so basically uh, when i put the department we have uh, done two things one we have replaced a v lookup we don't need a v lookup our x lookup will search either it is on the left hand side or right hand side plus with an added from top to bottom or bottom to top so we have done uh, by selecting department we have already done these two things now let's do the third thing which is a replacement of an h lookup now we want to put the bonuses here and bonuses are over here in columns not in rows so what we will do here is equals to x lookup bracket start find this thing where over here which is my my horizontal and because i want to copy it um, the form of vertically so what i want i want to lock this range and then if it is found do what bring the numbers from here and again because i want to copy this thing i will be copying a dollar sign and there i want to put minus one as my match mode enter and here when i says it says it is five percent and now i can easily copy this thing till the bottom and here you can see that uh, for four thousand it is four percent okay for anything which is oh so percentages so here will be 0 0.04 and here it should be 0 0.05 sorry so now anything about four thousand is five percent within three things three thousand it's the uh, 
4,000 uh, and over here 6% because it is 2,000. So now with the help of X lookup, we have also put the X lookup has replaced the H lookup also. Okay. So now what I want you is to forget about the V lookup, forget about the H lookup, forget about match and index and start thinking if you have some, um, start thinking about this new all in one functions and uh, start thinking about how to update your existing worksheets or to create the new worksheets and report by using uh, X functions. In my uh, later videos, we will go more in depth. So stay tuned and um, press the bell button so that once we uh, send a new video, you will get uh, intimation about that. And uh, please subscribe my channel and also uh, tell your friends and family so that they can also get benefit of it. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.